Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, November 17th, 2019. Got a free football pick in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else over at DocSports.com and it comes with the DocSports uh, guarantee. So again, all you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video, get that free $60 account. If you jumped on board with me today on Saturday or yesterday, I should say, uh, then you got a real nice card in football because we swept. Overall, 4-0-1. Our push was Ole Miss, and we won here on the free pick report with the Baylor Bears. Uh, they were up big and couldn't hold on for the straight-up win, but they got the cover, obviously, over the Oklahoma Sooners. So a nice uh, free pick winner for us. And big plays won with Virginia Tech, the Iowa Hawkeyes. So overall, 4-0-1 in college football on Saturday. And uh, here's what we got going on Sunday. If you've yet to give DocSports.com a trial run, great time to do it. Uh, again, click on the link below that video. Get that free $60 account. I've got my eight unit play going in Sunday's NFL. Couple of plays to go. We're off to a winning start in the NFL. We won with Cleveland on Thursday night over Pittsburgh. Couple more to go on Sunday, including that eight unit play. And here's the thing, folks. Uh, you know what we've done? My lifetime at Docs, couple of years now, 75% with our regular season football plays uh, are sides that were rated eight units. So go grab that over at DocSports.com if you haven't yet. And uh, let's have a big Sunday. We'll have basketball of course NBA post at 1 p.m. Eastern 10 a.m. Pacific on Sunday and we have the uh, NASCAR race for Sunday final race you know how well we've done 14 and 3 with our last 17 and now on a 21 and 6 run going all the way back to the 1st of May with our NASCAR plays and we are up closing in now on $7,000 since May 1st for $100 per unit betters last chance of the season to take advantage of our NASCAR over at DocSports.com and if you're watching this uh, before 11 p.m. Pacific time gotta wait till 11 p.m. Pacific anytime after that up until race time on Sunday uh, to be able to get the picks. We post them at 11 p.m. Pacific, and right now it is about 9 p.m. Pacific as I cut this video. So that's all available for Sunday on a red hot run in football. Again, 4 0 1 yesterday. Let's keep it going on Sunday. All right, let's get to our free pick for Sunday. We'll look to make it a weekend sweep, and we're going to back the Houston Texans plus the points over the Baltimore Ravens. And listen, you know, I thought NFL defenses would have figured out what Baltimore is doing by now, but Lamar Jackson is just that good at what he is doing. And Jim Harbaugh, maybe or John Harbaugh, excuse me, might be calling a few too many running plays for his quarterback, although not last week, only ran seven times uh, for the long haul. But for the short term, he's obviously operated this offense at another level. However, you've had a Houston Texans team that has had a week off to prepare, extra week to prep. And also, not only that, you got a Baltimore team that tends to be overvalued uh, against teams they're, let's call it, supposed to beat. Uh, and because of that, they're not good as chalk. They're not good at home as, against the spread. In fact, they've destroyed a few bankrolls over the last couple years with their home games and as chalk. And I think if Houston's, their, if their offensive line uh, can handle what Baltimore is going to throw at them defensively, you give Deshaun Watson a little time and he's basically, if you're John Harbaugh, I would think what you want Lamar Jackson to become when Lamar Jackson gets a little bit more experience as an NFL quarterback. So listen, I like Deshaun Watson. That's no secret. I've talked about this guy both on and off the field on all the radio shows I do. And I like him here in this game against the Baltimore Ravens. So we're going to recommend a play on the Houston Texans plus the points over Baltimore on Sunday. Again, the Houston Texans. Real quick note, by the way. Uh, we do those, uh, you know, we update everybody with the betting report on Sundays on ESPN National every Sunday around, oh, 12, 30 p.m. Eastern time, about a half hour before the games kick off, sometimes just a little bit later than 12, 30 p.m. Eastern. Let me get you the real quick betting update. If you want to hear where the betting update is, half hour before kickoff, 20 minutes before kickoff on Sunday, be sure to turn, tune in to an ESPN station nearest you. But as far as what's going on right now, uh, the most bet tickets or most lopsided bet tickets as far as percentages are concerned. You might have guessed it already with Matthew Stafford uh, being listed as out for the Lions. It's the Dallas Cowboys. Not only the tickets, but also the money. 83% of the tickets, over 80% of the money on Dallas. They are laying seven right now. And your Joes versus Pros game, the Sharps versus the Squares. Well, right now, Carolina getting over 60% of the tickets 
but Atlanta is getting about 56% of the money, and we've seen that number come down a little bit towards the Atlanta Falcons. So Atlanta being the sharp play, Carolina being the so-called Joe's play, doesn't mean you can't win. If you got Carolina, by the way, um, he's, you know, the, the Joe's win at least half the time. That's not good enough to make money, but still, it's not as bad as what a lot of people think. All right, that will do it for us for today. Again, that free pick for Sunday as we look for the weekend sweep is on the Houston Texans plus the points. Go grab my NFL right now. It's available. Grab the NASCAR after 11 p.m. Uh, Pacific time Saturday night, right up until race time on Sunday. Check for ba uh, basketball over my handicappers homepage on Sunday morning, but it's going to be a big Sunday. Eight unit play over at DocSports.com for my NFL. All right, listen, I appreciate those of you who have jumped on board. And if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit subscribe. We do appreciate it. And uh, that's about it for Saturday night and Sunday. We'll be right back here Monday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll have Sunday's opening line report available at that time. Let's put Sunday in the win column.